The soil inside of our cold frame has warmed up and all the frost has gone out of the ground in this area. So today we're gonna plant some seeds in it. radishes and lettuce and some spinach and then we're also going to try cabbage and we're going to put it in our cold frame at the cold frame set up yesterday i kept the lid closed and i was able to dig down about 12 inches which means the frost has all gone out of the soil in this area so i'm going to be planting some cold crops in here so this is my handy little tool that i'm going to use and I'm gonna start with the radishes. This is the top. And these are our leftover cherry bell radishes from last year. I'm just gonna put those in there. And then I'm gonna put the top on. And I'm gonna turn it to the proper size opening, which is probably about a three. made a little bit of marks in here where I'm gonna so now I'm just gonna take some soil and lightly cover the radish seeds is some lettuce seeds that I saved from last year. This is just like a loose leaf or a cut lettuce. And I'm just gonna sprinkle these in here like grass seeds. So the next thing we're going to plant is some cabbage seeds that somebody gave me. Normally I buy my cabbage as little seedlings from a neighboring greenhouse, but since somebody gave these, I'm going to try planting them in here and then I'm going to see if I can transplant them once they are seedlings. So I'm just going to plant them up here in the corner and we will see how that turns out. 
and I'm just gonna cover them lightly. I'll show you, Kendrick. And the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna water. I think there would be enough moisture in this soil to sprout all these seeds, um, but Kendrick's here and he wants to do something to help. So we're gonna let him water these seedlings. So normally I would use a watering can, but my watering can is broke. So I'm using my um, container, my sprayer that I usually use to apply fertilizer. And we're gonna water this really well. This is an old frame that belongs to my sister but she wasn't using it, so I get to use it. And before it belonged to my sister, it belonged to my grandma. And we have compost around the edges to seal out cold wind and keep the temperature more even. So windy today. So you can see how wet this part of the garden still is because the frost is still coming out of the soil here. But because we had this all closed up for about 24 hours of 50 degrees in sunshine, this was ready for seeds. Yeah, you can have them. Then let it down slowly. Push the lid back. Now lift the chain out. There you go. No, I've got it, I've got it. Okay, jump down. Now those two rocks that are there, put those on top. Put them on the lid to hold the lid down. Just on the on the white part of the lid. Yeah. No, don't put it on the plastic. There you go. Now the wind won't open the lid and the sun will make those seeds nice and warm. I got the fire going. Thank you boys.